food insecurity usually is precipitated by something negative. Someone maybe loses a job, somebody has some unexpected expenses. And so uh, usually the things that precipitate food insecurity relate to poverty, uh, relate to high medical bills, and sometimes people have to make choices between paying for things. Do I pay for my heat this month or do I buy food? Do I pay for my health insurance or do I buy food? Well, generally speaking, uh, people who don't have adequate resources can't afford to buy food many times, but the food that they buy often is high fat, high sugar food, which unfortunately does taste pretty good. So that can then lead to uh, them consuming foods that have negative impacts on their health. And, but impoverished people, we don't see food insecurity the way we did in the early 1900s in our country. Uh, we really see people having access to foods that aren't very nutritious, so we see more undernutrition now rather than uh, overt starvation like we might expect to see. I think some of the greatest advantages of organic foods would be not growing those foods with pesticides, which we know that some pesticides are associated with developing particular diseases and such as cancer. Um, I think one of the advantages of buying organic food in our region is that um, it is locally grown and the food has a shorter distance to travel and so there would, I think, be some flavor benefits to that and some nutrients are not lost as readily. I do buy some organic produce, but I think that some people have such poor access to food that they can't worry about um, whether food is organic. Some of us have the luxury of being able to consider whether we want to purchase organic food or non-organic food. And yet, if you are impoverished and you have to worry about every penny that you spend. Are your kids going to have clothes for school? Are you going to be able to pay your electric bill? Can you fix your car? Organic produce is the least of your worries because you just need food for your family. And this is why people also, I believe, choose high fat, high sugar foods that taste good because they simply need food and calories to have the energy to make it through the day.